Well, you know, I was basically born with music. Uh, my dad and uh, mom worked with music when I was young, so uh, me and Eric, the drummer, has always been around it. And uh, so it was a pretty much a, a given choice, you know. You know what? I actually started with playing piano. Uh, and I always wanted to be something... Um, I didn't. I didn't think that I was going to be an artist. I, I rather. I wanted. I wanted to be a musician. And the best musician in the world. <laughs> uh, I guess you can say Steve Perry. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, David Coverdale is. A, I'm a big fan of him, and um, all of the Toto singers, Joseph Williams mostly, and. Um, I, you know, I, 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 have, I have a lot of um, uh, different people. Uh, it could be, it, it doesn't have to be in the music business, you know. I like, like, um, Barack Obama. I like um, uh, other people also, so. I just feel so insecure. You know what? Uh, being, on, <clears throat> being on TV uh, and... Um, being judged and the stuff like that isn't my cup of tea, actually. Um, it, it, it was actually my manager at the time actually signed me up to this competition, who was a national TV, and uh, I didn't think that much about it. I was just pretty, actually, pretty bored of the situation I was in, because I had a I had a pretty broken band at the time, and we were splitting up. And I was trying to move from my hometown and stuff like that. So I was, I was, I, I was, I wanted to do something new. And uh, when that um, when that thing came up, I just took the chance, and it actually turned in to be a really good, good thing. And I, thought you wanted more. I know what you mean because <clears throat> I have never actually sang that much of rock and roll, you know. I was in I was in a band here in Sweden who was called uh, Ganders, and it, we were it, it was more like a smooth kind of country music, but also in the vein of A O R, you know, more smooth and more country and more uh, laid back and stuff like that. So when we got the chance with uh, the Galis to uh, to do the CD, we we walked the full mile, you know. Well, you know, that song came up pretty fast, actually. Uh, we were trying to look for a killer tune that was speedy, rocky, and uh, have all the details that we wanted to sound like with Helios, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I think we managed to do a complete version of a good song, you know. Um, <laughs> basically, it's, you know, uh, the song is not about anything special it's like it's like a girl that you can Tonight. yeah you know what we have a killer we have a killer tune on our next c that uh we're gonna we're gonna have it in the same vein as mike cassandra because i love that song it's it's cozy it's uh, sexy it's um nice to listen to and um more kind of a light back with a good sense of uh driven distortion guitars, you know. Mm -hmm. So I really love that song. Oh, okay. Basically, it's actually written for my own girlfriend. Get some piece of action. Yeah, um, how did that came up? Um, it started with that with the riff, you know. I don't do that. And I thought it sounded so cool and uh, Almost like, uh, like a group called Giant, who's uh -huh. one of my favorite uh, artists in the world, you know. And um, I love that song. They have a song called Thunder and Lightning. And uh, I wanted to make a track that sounded almost like that one with the same feeling, you know. And uh, so I mean, maybe that's why Piece of Action came up. Right here. Okay. Um, we we always thought that song was more or less like a live track, you know, um, 
I love that song, and it's 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 it's, it's a bit smoky. You know, you can you can always feel the, the, the you can always sense the feeling. You know, when you listen to it, and it's like it's dark, and it's like not that many many lights going on, and just you and a girl in the room, and the song from there. Uh, yeah, I love that song. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, actually, it's it's pretty old. Um, I huh? think I wrote that song in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2007 or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> it's just, you know, it's just a killer tune who has uh, a lot of great influences in and um, more or less I was trying to do uh, more than words. I really wanted to, to be... I wanted to. I wanted it to sound really simple. Also, that's why we didn't make a big production of it. We just had like an acoustic guitar and uh, my voice, and we didn't. We didn't turn my song too much into perfectionism. You know, we always made it sounded a little more like liveish. You know, uh -huh. and I think it really. Uh, our producer really caught up that song really good actually. Yeah, I like that one. Um, basically, I, I wrote that song to, uh, to another group, uh, and uh, they actually didn't want it. So we uh, we was just talking, you know, in within the band, and uh, the guys told me, yeah, maybe we can do it and stuff like that. So we just turned it around a little bit and uh, modified it a little bit, and uh, made it more into a Vigilius track. There's something about you that caught. Yeah, uh, and I think it's a really cool thing to do. Also, you know, you don't always have to need the the distortion guitars and the, like going 100, 110 percent all the time through a concert and stuff like that. It's it's just meaningless, you know. You have to break it down, and uh, I think that's why love can be that much. It's a killer tune. Got me crazy longing for your. You know, every time when I write a song, I always start with thinking, okay, this time I'm not going to sing about love, I'm not going to sing about chicks, I'm not going to sing about, you know, the cheesy stuff. But it always turns out to be the greatest thing to sing about, you know. I mean, I can sing about flowers or something like that, but it, but it, it won't be that the same, you know. I think love is something that every people can uh, connect to and... Uh, can feel you, you can almost take like one song and uh, take it into uh, to be your own song you know if I sing love can't be that much you know the people actually think yeah love can't be love can be that much you know mm -hmm. it's, it's more or less a good thing to sing about because people can take it to their own hearts Brown, you know it's a reason it's going really, really, really good, actually. Um, I think this is going to be the best CD we have ever released. We have written um, like six or seven killer tunes, and uh, we really this time we're really focusing on the how it's going to sound because the last record sounded a little, a little bit too liveish, actually. I think it was um, not that put together that I wanted to be, you know. So. This time we're really, really focusing on the songs and we're really focusing to find our own thing and our own sound and stuff like that. So it's going to be great. Be that much. I mean, it's such a shame, you know, I love your country and I really want to come to you guys. But um, we talked about the, the, the guys who booked us for, uh, for the show in Madrid. They had like six or seven shows in that month. It was like White Snake, Bon Jovi, yes. blah, 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 and it was also Vigilius. And uh, I think that the people is, <laughs> is going to be pretty bored on rock and roll, you know? So we actually sat together and um, we discussed it and uh, we took it to another level and uh, moved the show to September. And I think that was a great thing, you know? You will open up your heart. No, actually we're, we're trying to we're trying to make this the best thing ever, you know. We want to be, we want it, we want to be the best band in the world, and we wanted to wait for the live releases until we really feel that we are ready for it, you know. 
I mean, we can always play it like now, but uh, in Spain, it's going to be cool in Spain, you know, because you guys really like us down there and um, we like you guys and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be why people feel pure 110% rock and roll uh, driven show that um, is going to blow your mind. Um, we have a lot of good ideas and, uh, you know, Vigilius is actually best live, so it's going to be a blast. First of all, I want to say gracias. Keep on rocking, we really love you, and uh, it's really heartwarming that you guys dig us down there. And um, we're gonna have a re really great show together in September, and um, you know, keep it up. And uh, please look at the Facebook and stuff like that because we are going to um, put out some news really soon for uh, some things going on 2013 and just uh, you know keep rocking and uh, una cervezas por favor mm -hmm.